Welcome back, folks. Let's drill it down straight to individual stocks. You just heard from our team about all the top stocks to focus on. Dipan Mehta, director at Elixir Equities, is joining in now. Uh, Dipan, good morning. It's the big budget tomorrow. How many budgets have you seen up until now? <laughs> good morning, Sonia. I've been tracking budgets since the age of 11. So, I mean, more than 40 wow. budgets. Wow. Have seen. <laughs> okay, so you'll be best place to tell us. Day. You'll be best placed to tell us, Dipan, whether the budget affects the market or not. Be honest. It doesn't affect. Earlier, the budgets used to affect a lot because there are a lot of indirect taxes and a lot of uh, surprises would be there in the fine print. But this time around, I think the budgets are a bit of a non-event. It's just a statement of uh, plan expenditure and the focus areas of the government. And then those stocks start to rally a little bit, but that rally also lasts only for a few weeks or so. And uh, one doesn't really remember what happened in the budget. I mean, if you ask me today what was the highlight of the last budget, I'll be struggling to find the facts over here. But nonetheless, I think, you know, it creates a feel-good factor and it brings about a lot of uh, uh, checks on what the government is planning, which are the sectors they want to give encouragement to. And on the whole, I think if even minor uh, uh, drinking is, do is done with the personal taxation, some relaxation, then I think it will be very well received by the market. And of course, we pray that there is no change in the capital gains tax structure uh, for stocks. Uh, that, that would be a big, big sentiment that now. Mm. Uh, well, hi, Dipan. Good morning. Uh, Dipan, uh, you know, a couple of these names have got hit, you know, the Adani Group stocks, Adani Ports, Ambuja Cements, as well as ECC. Some of them valuation-wise, well, they've come to more reasonable levels. Any view on any of these three? Good morning, Nigel. No, I think it's best uh, to stay away when there's so much of controversy surrounding a stock and every day it is in the news. Uh, in such situations in the past, I have seen it's best to stay away. I think let the entire uh, situation cool down and see what the final outcome is and then perhaps take a call. It's not that these businesses are a one of a kind and then you have to own them. Otherwise, you'll miss out on a major upside. Uh, you can always buy similar businesses which are trading at equal or lower multiples. And that should be just fine. So I like to avoid the, all these stocks which are in the focus just now. And there are many uh, companies which have come out with excellent set of numbers this earning season. Uh, new investment uh, ideas are opening up and I think one could focus over there. And even some of the laggards, I think they came out with very good set of numbers like Bajaj Finance or even LNT for that matter. Mm. Uh, Devan, hi, good morning. Uh, the other area which has seen uh, some amount of I mean, uh, of course, uh, one uh, has to qualify when I say indiscriminate selling, uh, depends on uh, whether you like the space or not, is banks uh, has taken a real knock. Bank Nifty is down some 6% in three sessions. Uh, is this uh, area where you will look for some opp opportunities? Are you already finding those? Yeah, Prashant, I think that if you're underweight banks uh, in your portfolio, this is a great opportunity to get equal or overweight. Uh, although we have seen a correction going into the future, next two, three years, even longer, I think banks will be back in leadership position. Uh, they are in a secular growth momentum at this point of time. And until the next NPA cycle comes, I think it's kind of a blue sky scenario for the bank stocks. But I think looking at the way the numbers have come through, my personal preference is again moving back into the private sector banks. The tier two banks like say IDFC First Bank, Indusin Bank, Federal Bank, I think they came out with a set of numbers which were better than street expectations and to an extent equal to or better than the larger banks as well. So you could have a sense of outperformance in the tier two private sector banks. PSU banks remain as a, as a bit of a trading uh, rally, of course. But, uh, you know, one can never be sure that where these companies uh, would report two, three quarters down the line. We saw what happened in PNB today uh, or rather yesterday, where unusually there was a large uh, NPA provision which was required to be made. So, you know, tracking the PSU banks and having a handle on their earnings is very difficult. So, from that point of view, I prefer private sector banks. And I give the names just now. I think those are all done exceptionally well. And next mm. three, four quarters, you could see decent outperformance coming in from that uh, segment within the uh, banking space. I, I Did you say CSB Bank was one of the banks that you liked? No, I said IDFC First Bank, Indusin IDFC. Bank, Federal Bank. I think those all came with very good set of numbers. Okay, I thought I heard CSB Bank. But you know what? I mean, I would request you to stay on because we do have the management of CSB Bank with us. 